welcome back to part two of this video um in this part we're gonna add the uh, this uh, loader using motion one um i find it really easy to use and it's um a really developer appearance friendly i'll first copy this html code from let's first do the the first animation we will need um two references to our uh, list yeah so let me check const count ref is use ref of html you will list or null is a null let's copy this and count ref2 is the same let's assign them one is count ref ref is count ref2 next we want to do it on um on these component mounts so use effect we want to know of how much pixels we want this uh list to be offsetted so we know that this by inspecting it we see that the counter list has 1627 pixels and we know that there are four elements and each element takes about uh, 400 pixels so we'll have to get um, a section height yeah an element height by getting the total um, height of the element the order list counter list element and divided by number of children and this will be the offset of how much um, pixels we translate this component on the y-axis so um right here a small function function get section height and we'll take an html you'll your list element and this will return something and we'll get the total height from element look get bound inclined track i love copilot and then we'll get the child element count from element and in return we'll divide height by child count element transform amount let's get the um, count equals to get section height and we'll pass the counter ref parent and we know that both of the uh, let's if count ref current both of the lists have the same number of elements so we only need to do it one, only once we'll need to create a timeline for this animation and the timeline takes uh, how they call it sequences so sequences are steps the element will take or the phases the element will pass through um through the, throughout the whole the whole animation and um so we we create the timeline in this manner we say that it will take a sequence and some some uh parameters yeah a sequence is an array of arrays and each of these array will take first element is um let's see is the element we want to target yeah first uh, second is uh, what we want to do with um, that element and the third one is information about um, the animation like this navigation will translate 100 pixels uh, to the right during one one important thing is uh, this at value well string or number values but if it's a string we can pass a plus or a minus in front of it and if this we have a plus uh, this will start like five seconds after the previous animation after this animation and if it's minus two it will start 
0.2 seconds before the end of the previous animation so this animation will play during uh, 0.5 seconds and this one will start when this hits the 0.3 seconds yeah and we have also this sign and this sign is telling that um, this sequence will start exact time as this sequence otherwise it will start with will have like a hot water flow um, effect so by knowing this we want to create a sequence we know that there are just three sequences here let me this is one two and three we need to create a new empty array of three elements so we could iterate and take the index but map we don't need the first value but we need the index let's uh, return let's return here an array and then we will just animate the um, fur the y position so is minus dollar transform amount times um, x plus one because we don't want to go from zero we will create the timeline that will import from motion we will pause this sequence fresh yeah so we have this kind of effect already happening we what we want to do is to have the duration change between the steps and maybe the easing and to do, to make it for the whole sequences is we can add a default um, timeline option for um for it so default options so i have here a cubic busier this one and with a duration of two let's go back save open chrome let's refresh yep so we see this nice effect exact same way but we'll change it for count to is um this second column yeah and let's save that here and count f2 that current yeah so you see that it goes one it left right left right left right so we need this one to delay and if you remember we can um, add this kind of delay so let's copy just and add as a third parameter and let's refresh yep we're having this nice as I said, we need two sequences. One is to complete this animation, and the second one is like getting to home page. So let's see what what's happening. One is um, both of the counters are going opacity zero, the title like going up a little bit, um, the loader is move to the top and we have here um the image zooms out a little bit and 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 like that's kind of all and we'll do this one as well as a use effect we'll create sequence timeline definition array we will pass the create the timeline sequence we'll pass also um, the default options here so easing is the same as above duration we'll do one for one second 
you will need uh, to create a few more uh, reference to our elements so let's uh, const loader ref the use ref html div element or all all let's copy paste uh, more time so title ref ref is an html a heading element heading element html yeah. let's go and um set them to the loader so ref loader ref image ref here so ref is ref ref is title ref title will kind of have a transition or a movement on the y position and um, we need to set it like a default position before it's animating so what i'm gonna do is just i'm just gonna translate it 100 pixel down so title ref current is uh y 100 and then we will animate the image as well for a, a default um, effect to scale 1.2 and uh, is, if you remember we can say that this uh, animation will happen in the exact exact time as the first one we'll set the counter ref current to opacity zero and this one will happen same copy and counter ref current two and we will uh set the loader ref to current after this one finishes we will hide the loader container so y is negative 100 viewport height want to have a slight delay so at is minus 0 0.5 from from this one yeah so you see that it's happening right away the second sequences um, and that's because we need to to delay the seconds too uh, we could do in two ways is to create here a timeline drawn in into this way or add all of the timelines here sequences here or just somehow delay this uh, sequence for the second timeline so delay i believe a seven okay let's refresh have the loader or the counter and then it goes opacity and this one goes up what we have to do is to set the y position and the scaling back to uh, so let's copy this to zero at uh, 0.5 from this one and scale to one in the exact time as title animation yep Press our wolf with that's a way to do this kind of animation um, using motion one duration and delay. it has it has a ton of other options um, I think all it that is left is to add some styles to our custom cursor so let's see width and pixels height and pixels background color it's um, bd ef00 and border radius and copy So hey guys, um, 
that's the end of this video i hope you really find today something uh interesting to learn uh, a new technology or actually a new package um it's a really great tiny size huge performance um animation library um again we use the locomotive scroll to create this interesting uh parallax effect thank you for watching and if you are not subscribed please do it and uh, if you have any questions don't um, hesitate to tag me on twitter or maybe dm me in private and um, i'll try to see and help you with um, your your problems or anything you might want to ask me and yeah i'll see you to the next one yeah